gospel track? I think I ain't part of you guys can't be trust our feelings. Yeah. Do you have any faith background or anything? Spirituality? Uh, I was baptized at LDS. Oh, you were? You still practicing or? No. How long ago did you stop? Uh, I came back from my mission. So like when you were 19 or something? No, like 21? 21. 20, 23. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I okay. Came out, like, I went out when I was like So why'd you go? Did you believe when you were there? Uh, to say the truth, not really. I really? Really? the hell out of the, out of Canada. Because I'm from Canada. Oh, right? gotcha. And, um, yeah, life just got kind of tiring. And okay. It was just the way out, I guess. Uh, I kind of wow. regretted it. Yeah. I regretted it, yeah. But How'd you end yeah, up here then? Some, some, some cool things about it, but. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of regretted it. Yeah. So when you were like at the MTC going through all the training. No, it was pretty crazy at the MTC. They have like a lot of like stuff happening. Like, just, it's just a weird feeling. We're really? Really strict. Did we guys LDS? No, no. We're uh, evangelical yeah. Christians. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you guys are based here or Salt Lake? We're uh, we're our church is in South Jordan oh, near Salt Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. yeah. So yeah. What's so your, what's, your what's going on now? Yeah. Uh, I don't really have one. Not really. Yeah. Uh, just I'm just going to school at UVU. Uh, okay. I, I still I moved back. Um, I stayed came back from my mission during the pandemic and then. Oh then, wow! Like got a little too crazy there, so I moved here. Okay. Just to go to yeah, Canada is pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's gone. I lived on a reserve, so like a reservation, and yeah, things got a little hectic there. So I was like, yeah, my dad has a house because he, my dad's LDS, and so he has a house. Gotcha. In gotcha. So that's where I stay right now for free. Do you believe there is a God still, or what are your uh, thoughts yeah. on that? Yeah. 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 Have you have you read through like even? I haven't really read. Have you read the Bible? No. No. Lately, okay. no, it's not so. Yeah, it's been a while, like a year or two years. I think, yeah. Okay. Well, here's here's the thing, and I'll I just let me just say something real quick and go ahead and respond in whatever way you want. But the Bible demonstrates obviously that in Genesis one that that God created all things that He literally spoke with power he spoke everything into, into existence billions of galaxies the universe everything came into being at that moment in genesis 1. And then he made man and women in his own image and likeness it says but in the garden they fell right they sinned against god that's all history that's all true the bible is the uh only in only inerrant and infallible word of faith and and, and, and truth and so we can we can have we can depend on it and its reliance. Uh, it's sufficient in all ways. So with that, the Bible demonstrates in Genesis 6 that after that fall, all men's thoughts were continually evil from, then, from that moment forward. It says in Romans chapter 3 that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It says that not one person is even good, not one. Not one person is good because it's up to God's standard. Right? So if we look at something like the Ten Commandments, you know, have you lied before? I'm sure you have, right? Yeah. Have you stolen something yeah, yeah. before? Yeah. Have you ever blasphemed, like yeah, taken God's name in yeah, vain? Yeah. You ever looked at a, a, a woman or a man with lust in your heart? Yeah. So on the Day of Judgment, if we were to stand before God and He judged us according to those commandments, how would you fare? How, how would you do? You would not do well. Not the worst, but not the Yeah, worst. sure, sure, yeah. sure. You're like, there's worse people than me, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, the, but the Bible demonstrates in James chapter uh, uh, 2, it says, it, I'm sorry, 1, if we stumble in one point of the law, we've stumbled in it all. If we've failed in one area, yeah. we've offended and transgressed against a holy God. Uh, I heard that um, in some way all of the commandments are equal, like uh, the Ten Commandments, like... Like thou shalt not there's steal. a unity yeah, yeah, between yeah, them yeah, yeah that's a good that's good yeah, like there's so like obviously like you know stealing is i would think that it's it's not as bad as, as killing someone or you know like as you know that, sure you know, sure even like committing adultery i wouldn't i wouldn't but then but then again like they're like they're saying i was told that they're all kind of like yeah in unity that's like they're all have weight you know like, it doesn't yeah. really matter yeah you know like of course to God that you know God demonstrates a hierarchy of sins yeah. uh, some things are an abomination to him yeah. but positionally yeah. they all all sin puts us in a 
in a, at, at, at enmity with God, at strife with God, right? Positionally, all sins do that. So here's, here's, here's the deal. On the day of judgment, if we were all to stand before God and not one of us is good and God's standard is perfection and He's holy and just, He must by His very nature, if He is good, if He is actually good and impeccable and perfect, He must punish those who do sin. Otherwise, He's not good. Otherwise, He's not good. But the good news is, and you might have you've heard some of this, is that His Son, His one and only Son, the uncreated Jesus Christ, God from all eternity, Jesus condescended, He came into His own creation. Because John 1 and Colossians 1 says Jesus created all things. That yeah. he's not the spirit brother of Lucifer. That he created the yeah. angels. He created Lucifer. So he, he, he created the angels. He created the angels. I, Dude, Colossians 1. That. Yeah, Colossians yeah. 1 says he John created 1, everything visible and invisible. Whether thrones, dominions, rulers, or authorities. Everything. everything. So, the visible and invisible. He, he created everything. And so they lie and they say that he's the spirit brother of Lucifer. The Bible doesn't demonstrate that. The so Bible that actually demonstrates that Lucifer was an angel, so that's not even a creature. Hell, that it is. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yep. I mean, so, so, yeah. so, so I here. I remember that yeah, right, having that discussion. Right. Learning about that at the MDC is like, I believe that yeah. he was, they were two brothers, basically. Yeah, yeah that's but, just not true. But uh, yeah, that's the thing, you know, like. Yeah. Uh, so they would also it's say. It's interesting. It's interesting you tell me that. Right. And they would also say, "What is your name, by the way?" Oh, my name is Isaac. Isaac. Isaac yeah. I'm Wade. Yeah. yeah. Jared. Jared. Yes, and that's Eric right. over there. <laughs> Isaac. So basically, there's so many of those issues. They, yeah. You know, they they say that uh, essentially Jesus was created in the pre-existence. He existed as an intelligence before that. Yeah. Whatever yeah, that yeah, means. Yeah, that's yeah. not in the Bible. Yeah. Um, it's a doctrine but, of covenants, but the, I believe, yes. Yeah, something but, like that. But essentially, the Bible shows yeah. that. He's eternally been God. Yeah. There's, there's been no other gods. Yeah. There's only been one God. There's no eternal progression. We can't become gods so one guys, day. Do you guys believe that there's a heavenly Father though? Or like, yeah, yeah. Yes. So yeah. There's, there's Jesus Christ and there's heavenly Father. Yeah. So this is the amazing thing. This is what's called the doctrine of the Trinity. So the Bible shows that there is one God. Isaiah 43:10 says, "Before me there was no God formed." Neither shall there be after, be after me. He says, I am the first, I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. He says there's only one God. The Bible shows there's only one God. The, the Mormons say, though, that they're, you know, on this creation, that there's three gods. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. The Bible says there's only one. However, the doctrine of the Trinity and what the Bible shows, especially in John chapter 1, the prologue of John, it says that in the beginning was the Word, the Logos. And, he, and, he, and John says that that's Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word, Jesus. And, and the Word, Jesus, was with God. And it says the Word, Jesus, was God. So you are one person, Isaac, and you are one being. You, you, by nature, you are one being and one person. Yeah. God, though, has shown himself to be, through his Word, okay. that he is... One being by nature, but three persons. It, his Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's 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 apprehendable in that we can see the scriptures and understand it, but it's incomprehensible in that yeah, it's yeah, it's I'm, hard to wrap yeah, your mind I'm around just, that, right? Well, I'm just yeah. To wrap my mind like <laughs> yeah. That. So, but here's the thing. Back to the gospel. Yeah. Is that God sent His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh, who lived. The perfect life. He yeah. lived out those Ten Commandments. He didn't steal. He didn't lie. He didn't blaspheme yeah, he God's name. He's completely obedient, to, completely obedient yeah. to, to the law of God and, and in all capacities. Yeah. And then he, he did that, it says, for us. Yeah. Then, then it says that he became a curse for us. He took, on, he took upon himself the curse of the law, which is, which is death, and he, he took on the wrath of God. So, that, that holy justice, that anger that was meant for us, that would, that would afford yeah. us an eternity in hell. Yeah. It says on that cross that God the Son had the wrath of the Father, God the Father, poured out on Him. Yeah. That was meant for all those who would be God's yeah. children. All the elect, all those who would be saved. All of His anger that would have afforded us an eternity in hell was poured out on His Son, and He took it upon Himself. 
It says it was completely propitiated. It, Jesus then says a, this word, he says, to tell us die. At the end, he goes, it is finished. At the cross, there, for all time, forever, all the people who would be found in Christ, Jesus took on their hell, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then, it, then he was buried, and he rose again on the third day, showing that he, he is who he says he is. He didn't just stay dead. He's alive, and he, and he rose again, and he conquered death in the grave. Death could not hold him. The grave could not keep him, yeah. and he's alive forever mo more. And he ascended 40 days after that, and he's sitting right now, ruling and reigning at the right hand of the Father on high. And, he, and it says he's going to come back, and he's going to judge the living and the dead. So now he calls all men and everywhere to repent. That there is only one name in heaven and on earth that can save our souls, and that is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not the, it's not the Mormon understanding of Jesus. Yeah. It's not uh, even Muslims believe he was yeah. a great rabbi. Yeah. You know, I was witnessing uh, Jews. Michael the Archangel. Yeah. yeah they, be they believe Muslims believe uh, that Jesus was a prophet. Prophet, that's prophet. That's right. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. Jews believe he was a great rabbi, teacher. Yeah. But the question is. And Jesus says this himself in the Gospel of John. He says, who do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? And he says, if you do not say that I am he, and he, and he says the name from the burning bush, from Exodus 3.14, where, where Moses is at the burning bush. You remember yeah, that passage? Yeah, yeah. And he says, who should I tell the people who you are? And he says, tell them, I am who I am, that I am has sent you, which in the Hebrew, I am is Yahweh. Yahweh, that's the name of God, Yahweh. And essentially, in Greek, that, that word Yahweh is ego ami, I am. And Jesus says, unless you believe that I am, that I am Yahweh, that I am God, you will die in your sins. So that's the call of the gospel, is to believe that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh, that he took your penalty, Isaac, and he died upon that cross, he rose again, and it's all by his grace. Grace is unmerited favor. Grace is that you are, are we were dead. We were dead in our transgressions and sin, Ephesians 2 says. It, means, it doesn't mean we're waiting for a, someone to throw us a lifesaver and we're in the water. Yeah. It means we're dead at the bottom of the ocean. We're dead as dead, we're spiritually dead, and we need a resurrection. We need yeah. God to change our hearts and save us. And he says that if you believe on him, yeah. repent and believe, Jesus says, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If you repent and believe, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, yeah. and you recognize him as Savior and Lord, he will forgive your sins, wash you white as snow, make you clean, and you will have an inheritance undefiled awaiting for you in heaven. You will be saved if you believe on this Jesus Christ. Yeah. Not, not any other revelation, not the DNCs, not, no. not the Pearl of Great Price, no, no. not the Book of Mormon, the Word of God, the only Word of God. No. So that the is Bible. the call of the Gospel. Yeah, the yeah. Bible, the Bible, the Bible only, man. I, I, I would challenge you, Isaac, to, to pick up a Bible. Can be King James if you're used to that. Yeah. Could be, could be New, New International Version, could be, yeah. could be English Standard Version. Whatever you think is gonna help you. I challenge you to read up. I challenge you to grab a Bible, read through the Gospel of John, read through the New Testament right. if you have time, and consider what I'm saying. This is of eternal significance. Yeah. This isn't just this culture where people pretend to be perfect, yeah. and, and they, they got these nice buildings and stuff. Yeah, this is bad. real. And one day they're going to face God, and they're going to have to give an account that they believed in a charlatan named Joseph Smith who did parlor tricks and strung them along. I feel bad for them. They're victims in some way, but they're deluding themselves as well. And think about what it says in Matthew with that. Who in that day of judgment comes, they're going to, it's not just those who are going to be, there are those, there are going to be a lot of people who are happy to go to hell. They're like, well, I didn't like you anyway, so I'm going to oh, I rejected God anyways. So we're good. But there's going to be those people who are sad and they're like, wait, wait, didn't we do miracles in your name? Didn't we do things in your name? We didn't prophesied we, in your we name. We prophesied in your name. We, we cast stuff. out demons in your name. And, he said, and he's, he's like, get away from me. I don't know you, you workers of iniquity. He didn't know that. There's going to be people who said they believed in Christ, like the Mormons, their whole life. They're, and they're genuine. Yeah. Some of them are genuine, not all of them. 
Well, some of them are genuine. Yeah. And Jesus is going to say, I never knew you. Because he has revealed himself a certain way according to Scripture and the way that they've taught it, the, the way that the Mormon church has taught it is not biblical. So, take... This is... Uh, yeah, actually, is, let me give you something, this man. This one, though, is going to help you out. There's no pressure, Isaac. This is my number. You can text me or email me if you ever have questions, man. Yeah. If you ever want to come to our church, I'm a pastor there at a okay. Christian church in South Jordan. I know you're down here. Okay. But text me anytime if you have questions or if you want to meet up and go, hey, I'm wrestling through some of this. Yeah. Okay? For sure. Okay, cool. And I live yeah. down here too. If you ever want to reach out reach out to him, I can... Yeah. Do you have any questions right now? Uh, no, not, not really. Um, yeah, it's, it's just... Uh, nah, I'm trying to process it all yeah, or what yeah, I'm trying to you came out of that and that's good it's good that you came out of it but it but it's only good if you I'm go into you what's in what's true yeah. you coming out of a falsehood is good but it's only good if you go into truth after that you know what i mean man all right appreciate all right, cool. you man thank you, yeah man. thank you yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks for talking with us thank you yep